let's take a look at Fantastical widgets over on the Mac. To get to widgets on the Mac, you can either click on the time or you can swipe on the trackpad from right to left with two fingers from offside. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you can see I've got two widgets here. I'm gonna click the edit widget button and then I'm gonna go over here to Fantastical and you see I've got a similar collection of Fantastical widgets that we just saw over on the iPhone and iPad. This is customizable where you can set the sizes. For instance, we've got this one here with the month and the events. I explained earlier, I like the large size of that, so I'll go ahead and click the large size. You can see there's that widget that I like so much. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that in now and add that to my widget screen, and I've added it. We can add multiples if we want. If I wanna put the current date in, I'll go ahead and put that in as well next to the current month. That looks pretty good. And when I'm done, I'll click off of that. And you can make adjustments to these as well. If I just right click on it and click Edit Fantastical, then I've got the same set of options. I'm going to have it mirror the system appearance for the calendar set. I'm once again going to use that Fantastical calendar set. Uh, it's gonna show all events, not just uh, timed events. And I'm gonna turn the heat map on and show the weather. I think I'm good, click Done. Just give it a second to update, and there's the new version. It looks really good. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag that now up to the very top of my widget screen. So now when I go ahead and show my widgets, I've got my Fantastical calendar there right for me. Whether you're using the iPhone, iPad, or Mac, the Fantastical widget system is powerful. Put it to use today.